Hey everybody, this is Strict9 with Strict9GP, and welcome back to another episode of my Out of the Park Baseball playthrough with the Phillies. And I'm coming back early to this one uh, instead of going to the Reds next because I, I really want to get through the playoffs here and move on to the offseason if that's what happens, or uh, move on to the, to the next round if we're lucky enough to get in there. And what I did is uh, after the last episode, we, we wound up, we were down two games to none in best of five uh, league division series against Arizona. Last episode I showed you we hung on to beat Arizona pretty pretty handily. Uh, got some good offense going. We won 10 to five. Uh, shake up, the, the bullpen was a little shaky and Arizona almost made a game of it, but we, we wound on up, up to, and won. And then I decided to just go ahead and play out offline game four I didn't really have a whole lot of um, faith going in. I had to start Lockfeld, who has been struggling really hard, you know, the, the last few months of the season. I didn't really have a good feeling about it, so I decided I would go ahead and play it offline. And if uh, we lost, then I would sim through the playoffs and pick up on the next episode after the, after the playoffs. But believe it or not, Game Five we. We managed to hang on and win another one, and uh, it wasn't because uh, Lockfeld pitched a gym or anything. He he struggled. He uh, gave up four earned runs, five runs total in five innings. But our offense, once again, just uh, we had a good game. We came back after being down five to what is that? Five to two through five innings. We came back, scored three in the seventh, a run each in the eighth and ninth to uh, seal the win. Vargas had a great game. Perez had another good game. I'm really liking that pickup from uh, last offseason. Those two guys are good. Um, Barge had a two for four good game from him. Mejia had a good game. And then a couple of good pinch hit uh, hits there off the bench from Arenthal and Deutsch. And uh, the bullpen just really came through, finally. Uh, guys who have been shaky this series. Medina pitched a good solid inning. Compton picked up the win, and then Rosier and Austin came in. This was his first appearance in the playoffs. He got the save. So that opened it up um, for Game 5. And we're back at home. Uh, we're going to be playing against one of the, probably one of the toughest, if I would say out of maybe second to Plyler. This guy might be the toughest pitcher in the uh, National League right now based on the stuff and the pitches that he has. And he won that first game pretty easily. Um, so, well, what was the final score there? Um, eight to two. So, I'm hoping it's not going to be a repeat. We got McSparren going again. I'm hoping he can redeem himself. Uh, I, I thought going into the playoffs he would be probably the most solid pitcher I had in the rotation. He had a bad game one. I'm hoping he can bounce back and have a good game two. So we're going to go ahead and get it started. And for the lineups, I'm, I'm going to make a little bit of a, a different uh, choice here. So it's mainly going to be our lefty bats uh, against the righty pitcher of Nellums. But as much as I hate to give up on him, I think right now Devers, um, his age, I mentioned that last episode, has really started to catch up to him. And his defensive ratings have slipped a whole lot and throughout this series now I've seen two three uh, three base hits that were really because he couldn't get rid of the ball quick enough from third or he just didn't play the ball well enough at third so I'm gonna leave him on the bench this game and uh, I'm gonna instead I'm gonna start Tennessee at third because I think his uh, offense is gonna be a little bit better uh, choice I could go with Arenthal um, but I like Arenthal off the bench a little bit better right now. I'd rather have him as a pinch hitter. So we're going to go with Tennessee there, and then I'm going to move Axe up to fourth to clean up and then put Ochoa in fifth and hope Ochoa um, manages to not strike out every at-bat. And then the rest of the, the lineup, we're going to have Mejia and catcher. Everything else is pretty much the same. And then starting with Sparin. So let's go ahead and get it started and hope that uh, we got some magic left and we can win this win this game 
So Roan is going to start out for uh, Arizona. And already McSparron is in the hole, three three balls and a strike, and he walks him on five pitches. That's going to bring up Hurd. Uh, I'm going to play double play depth, even though he's a pull hitter. It's a one-no count, and he lines it to center. That's going to be a base hit, and they're going to send the runner to third. So already we're, we're uh, not where I wanted to start out. I'm going to have the corners come in on... Nymond and first pitch runner going to second and he's in there now here's the here's the decision do I walk Nyman I think I'm I think I'm going to it's early but um, we got a righty coming up now in Salas I'm going to play the infield in and just hope that he can get the ball by him and he does he strikes him out and that brings up Taylor. Same deal. I'm going to play the infield in. I uh, want to keep that. Oh, and he hits him. So this is probably going to be the kind of game we're going to be looking at. Uh, Phil Ort now. Stay with the infield in. Full count. A grounder to short. He throws home to get. He got the got the run out at home. But they couldn't turn the double play. Now we got Eric Price. I'm going to play everyone straight away for him. A one and two count, and he strikes him out looking. So another shaky uh, first inning there for McSparren. So it's going to come down to it's going to come down to some offense. And man, we have really got a tough a tough task against uh, Nellums. He's a great pitcher, and he strikes out Vargas looking. Perez up now, one and one count. And he hammers it down to the corner, but I don't think that's... No, he's going for second. And he gets in there. So, a double. Uh, Perez has really been solid in this uh, playoffs. He's batting 353 overall with five RBIs. And Barge swings and misses. Now Aksha up. Full count, and they walk him. So runners on first and second for Ochoa. A home run would be so nice right now, but uh, Ochoa has, has really, he's become a whole, he's become a strikeout risk. But he lines it up the middle, and that's going to bring in a run to tie it up. So we're tied up one apiece. So some good hitting from Ochoa. And now we got Tennessee up. First pitch, he might be swinging, and he is, and he hammers it deep. Please get over the fence, and it does. Oh, wow. Three-run home run, and we are up 4-1. to one. That is what we needed after that shaky first inning from McSparren. And they're going to keep Nellums, Nellums in there. Uh, Mejia up. He had a good game last time, and he hits it deep and high. But I think that's going to stay in, and it does. So we come back and put four runs up. And now McSparren has just got to settle in and and get these guys out. A good stop from Tennessee. Good play defensively. That's what uh, that's what I was hoping for by putting him in. And now they're taking Nellums out. They're putting Harrison in uh, to pinch hit. Looks like Harrison is a pull hitter. But against righties, uh, I don't see a whole lot of power there so I'm gonna play him straight away and he swings and misses now Dalton Roan back to the top of the order and that's gonna get through uh, for a base hit and he doesn't have a whole lot of speed I'm gonna play the shift here just a weak shift right with the uh, herd up it's two and two count, and he hammers it to the alley, and that might score a run. It's going to be hard to get to that one. Yep, so it's four to two. And this, I'm telling you, uh, Nyman is getting walked. The um, starting pitching is just, uh, they are so undependable. And now we got Salas up, two out, and he's, it's a wild pitch. My guess is uh, McSparren is not going to get through four innings here. It's a one and two count, and the grounder to Tennessee. 
and he just manages to throw him out, but they score another run. If they chip away like that, we're going to have a hard time holding on. Now they've got the new pitcher Lovegrub in here. Uh, Vanden Hooven up, and a weak ground ball to short, but he's playing him deep. So it's one away from Experon. And he hits it pretty hard to left, but uh, if he chases it down, Price does to make the out. Now we got Vargas leading off. And he's going to take the walk on four straight pitches. Um, it looks like Lovegrove Love Grove has a pretty good hold rating. So I'm going to let Perez bat here. It's one and one. He's had a hot bat. But uh, grounds to third to get the force out. So I tell you, McSparin, he needs to give me a 1-2-3 a inning here, or I'm going to start thinking about a bullpen options. And a good start. He strikes out. He strikes out Taylor looking. Now Phil Ord up. And he's going to walk him. And uh, his hold running is. His hold rating is not too great. I'm going to play double play depth, but I'm going to hold that runner. And he walks the other guy. So who do I have that I can put in here? Uh, Justin Lewis might be an option um, against righties. But McSparin, he does not have it. It's obvious at this point. So play double play depth again. And that's uh, a pop-up to right. Hopefully Ochoa can get to that one. He does. Ochoa has a good arm. I wouldn't want to test him there too much. Now we got another pinch hitter, Pineda, who... Uh, it's like a normal hitter type. And he swings and misses. So it's uh, not a 1-2-3 inning, but we did hold him scoreless. And now Sean Barge leading off against Duran in the bottom of the third. It's a one and one count. And that looks like that was caught. So a liner to third. Now action up. He walked, I believe, his last time up. And he lines it to left. That'll be a single. So he's starting to hit a little bit better. So that puts his average up now for the playoffs. He's back up to 200. Now Ochoa is just hitting 100. And it's 2-2 two and two count, and he swings and misses. And now Tennessee, who had that big home run. Let's see if he can uh, repeat that. And he hits it deep again, but I think this one might stay playable. And it does, deep to center. So 4-2 now after 3, and uh, we got some tough hitters coming up, and already pitch count for McSparin, he's up to 70, it's looking pretty rough. Now Roan is a spray hitter, and uh, grounder to second, Barge is able to throw him out. Now Ben Hurd, he's a pull hitter I believe, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shift, just a weak shift right, and he swings and misses. So McSparin has gotten a few strikeouts today. That's six for him, but five walks. And now Neiman, I'm going to shift everybody right, but I am going to pitch to him with the bases empty. It's two and two count, and he pops up, and they, that might fall, and it does. So he went the opposite way with that shift on. And now Salas up, throw to first, to keep him honest. And he's running, and... Crack throw is going to throw him out. Great throw from Mejia. So another scoreless inning. We're still up 4-2, but we need some more. We need some more offense. I don't think we're going to hold them to two runs uh, with five innings to go. So Mejia leads it off, and that's going to get through a base hit for him. He's having a good playoffs now. He's batting 364. That brings up Van Den Hooven, full count, and he draws a walk. So, do I test McSparin one more inning? I think I, I think I will. It might be crazy because I've been dogging him the whole game, but I'm going to try to bunt him over. And he couldn't get the ball, bat on the ball. He does on that one. Good bunt. And uh, that moves the runners over to second and third now. And still one out. Vargas needs to have a good good hit here and that's going to be a short pop up to left so not going to advance the runner 
Now Perez up. Perez is one for two today. It's a one and one count. And he lines that one to left. That's going to score a run. So it's five to two. And uh, Perez up. I think I'm going to run with Perez. See if he can steal. He's, he's running. Nope. They may have, they may have uh, been ready for that one. So we'll let Barge hit here. It's two and two now. A uh, little dribbler to second. And that'll do it. But we did pick up another run, so we're up five to two. Now I'm getting getting close to the red. I'm going to see how he does with this first uh, batter here. A little dribbler to first, or to between home and the pitcher's mound. Mejia throws him out. Now Jake Taylor up. 1-0 and count. And that might get through, and it does. It's a base hit. Now we got Phil Ward. I'm going to play double play depth. It's a 1-2 and two count, and he strikes him out. So that's his seventh strikeout of the game. Now we got Eric Price up. And he strikes him out. So uh, McSparren found a little extra there. Uh, I guess he knew that, that he was probably going to be out after the fifth inning. So 5-2. to two, We got Ash leading off against Duran. And uh, he lines that one to center. That'll be his second base hit of the game. That's going to bring up Ochoa. Ash has some speed. Do I do I run with him or you know what? I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna run and hit. And he's going and he holds on. So that's gonna be a stolen base for for Ash. And they're gonna walk Achoa. And that brings up Tennessee now, who is uh, one for two with that big home run. Two and one count. A uh, little dribbler that might be a no. Nope. Didn't get the double play. So first and third now. One away. Mejia up. And he unloads. Is that going to stay in? Yes, it does, but that's going to score a run. So a long fly ball, and that makes it 6-2. to two. Van den Hooven up now. They're, they're staying with Duran. Um, who it looks like he's primarily, he might be a middle relief. But he's given a lot of innings, and... Van den Hooven strikes out. So now we're going to the bottom, top of the sixth. They lead off with Hall. Um, and there's just no way I'm going to risk McSparren right now. Uh, but we've got a lot of, I'm going to go with Lewis. Uh, we've got a lot of tired arms there in the bullpen. So let's hope that Lewis can can give me what I need here and first first batter gets a base hit to left so not good Lewis has a pretty good hold rating I'm gonna play double play depth and hold the runner no I'm not gonna hold the runner three and two uh, pretty high fly ball to center Vargas gets there though. So one down. Now we got Roan up. I'm going to play double play depth again. It's 0 and 2 count. And he hits that one just straight away center. And Vargas is going to make the catch. And they tagged up. Wow. So they tagged up it's from first to second. That was um, interesting there. So I'm going to shift here on. Play it outfield normal, but I'm going to shift with Hurd. And maybe shouldn't have done that. He gets he gets on. Man, Nyman is the hot bat. I'm going to risk it. The worst case, I mean, he hits a home run. It's a one-run game. So 2-0 count. A grounder to Barge, and he throws him out. So we're down to the bottom of the sixth. We're still up six to two. Uh, do I keep? And do I really keep Lewis in at this point? They're gonna have some righty. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it uh, because they're they're bullpen shaky right now. We don't have a whole lot of arms left. So he's, he is going to strike out. This is, Yoakum is a lefty, so maybe uh, Vargas can get on base here. 
And that's going to get past the third baseman and for a single. Now, Yoakum has a good hold rating. I'm not going to. I'm not going to attempt anything with him. Perez, a grounder to third, but they're only going to get the lead runner at second. Now, Barge up. He's 1-2, and he strikes him out. So we go to the seventh. Lewis still in there against Salas, who does have some good power. It's full count. And he strikes him out. Now, Taylor up. 2-2. Two and two. Another strikeout. Wow, this is what I would need, to be honest. Good outing from from Lewis. That's a grounder to Perez, and he's going to throw him out. So we go to the seventh inning stretch, still up 6-2. to two. And who who's going to be leading off for us? They, they're going to keep Yoakum in there with Aksh up. Aksh is 2-for-2 um, two two today. See if he can keep it going. And that one, they may have been playing the ship, but it, it falls in for him. So that's his third hit of the day. Now Ochoa up against the lefty. Uh, let me see what kind of options I've got here. Oh, I, I definitely have an option. I'm going to put Nidegger in for Ochoa. And they're going to keep Yoakum in. So hopefully Nidegger can get the bat on the ball. It's a weak crowner to the... Now I need some indecision. And Neidegger's going to get on. It's runners on first and second now. No out for Cameron, Tennessee. Yoakum's still in there. A high pop-up, but pretty short. And the runner won't tag up on that. So now we've got Mejia in there. It's a one and two count, and he swings and misses. And now Vandenhoeven, who's, uh, gosh, he's really struggled in this playoffs. And it's going to continue to struggle. Grounder to third. So we're going to the top of the eighth now, up 6 2. And uh, I'm going to leave Neidegger in right field. And I think I'm going to go with uh, Lewis here for at least the first couple batters. Grounder to Perez. Throws him out. Now Adam Hall up, full count. And he lines that one to right. And Neidegger's going to get there, though. Good play from him. And then uh, pinch hitter Connor Wong up. It's a 2-0 count. And he lines that up the middle for a base hit. And then Dalton Rowan. Let me visit the mound. Let's see what uh, let's see what Lewis has left. Not sure I have much left. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring the only lefty I have in right now who's not tired. And that's going to be... Castro, who has looked ridiculously bad in these playoffs. But uh, let's see if he's got something left to get one of these lefties out. Grounder to Perez. Throw to first, and he's in time. So we are one inning away now from a, a pretty uh, amazing comeback. And Castro is going to lead it off against Marikeen. I'm going to I'm going to bring a pitch hitter in, and uh, I'm going to bring in Devers. Give him a chance to hit in this game. And long fly ball, and that's going to fall in. So a hit for Devers. And uh, he's going to be now on first, no out with Vargas up. 3-1 count, he works a walk. And now Perez, who's been dangerous this whole series. He's 2-4 for four today. Tempted to bunt, uh, but I don't know. He's, he's been doing pretty good. And he uh, grounded a second, but they don't get the double play. So we're going to have runners on first and third now with one out for Sean Barge. Sean Barge is 0-4 for four today. And a weak grounder to the pitcher and... Uh, Nobody scores on that one. So now Josh Axe up, who's 3-for-3 three three today. It's a 1-1 one one count, and he pops him up. So should have been able to get a run out of that one, but um, we're stuck now. So who would I go with, Rosier or Wright? I think I'm going to try Rosier. 
Got a got a couple of uh, switch hitter and a lefty coming up. Hurd has a little bit of pull. Uh, he, he's a listed as a pull hitter. I'm going to do a weak shift right in the infield. And Rosier strikes him out. So two outs away now. For Burt Nyman, uh, I'm going to shift the infield right, but I'm going to leave that outfield straight away. It's a one and two count, and he strikes him out. So we're down to one out. One out from going to the League Championship Series. And it's going to be Luis Salas. It's a one and two count. And Rosier strikes out the side. So for once... I'm not too upset with the pitching. Uh, an amazing comeback, really, to be down two games to none uh, going into Arizona to come back and win those two games and then win this one in a pretty handy way. I mean, McSparron was, um, he was tested those first two innings, but he came through and gave me what I needed. Five, five innings, just two runs. We got to Nellums early and, uh, we're just able to hold on. Great win for us. Looking at some of the highlights. Offensively, Perez, another solid game. Axe, probably his best game of the playoffs. Achoa had a, a big hit when we needed it. Tennessee, that huge home run. Uh, great. I really am glad I put him in at third for this game. Uh, Devers had a nice pinch hit there at the end. And uh, Nellums only lasted an inning. The rest of their bullpen was okay. Uh, Duran Stadium maybe a, an inning or two too long. But uh, McSparron does pick up the win. Even though he gave up two runs in five innings, five walks, he did have eight strikeouts. So hopefully that's good enough to build on for that next uh, the next round of the playoffs. And Josh Axe gets the um, player of the game. So that's how it works and uh, man another surprise here but Atlanta has advanced against Pittsburgh so it's going to be Philadelphia going against Atlanta in the league championship series so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one and see what the matchups are going to look like so we're going to be playing them right away we're going to be at home for these first two games and uh, probably have Ken tell me ready to go first I want to look and see how we match up against them season wise we were 11 and 8 against Atlanta this year so that was probably one of the primary reasons that we won the division um, they've got some great offense Mercury Seth Beer is still still around there uh, but for us actually had a good season against Atlanta. Perez was good against Atlanta. Uh, I still, with Devers being so shaky right now defensively, I still may keep um, I may keep Tennessee in there at third. And then pitching wise, uh, Zach can tell me had a great season against against Atlanta. Two and zero in twenty eight and two thirds innings, twenty two strikeouts, an ERA of one twenty six. And Justin Lewis looked good against Atlanta. He may be somebody I want to uh, keep in mind there for a start. In a seven-game series, it, it's, it's a good chance I may have to go deep into that rotation um, anyway. But in terms of who we've got to go, I will probably lead off with can tell me, even though he's been kind of cold. Maybe a, maybe a game against Atlanta is what he needs. And then second game will probably be Ood and then Back to McSparren or Lewis. Uh, depends on who's rested of those two. But wow, I can't believe we had hung on there. Um, it would be really good to make the World Series finally in this playthrough. This has been our best record year record-wise, so if we're going to make it, I guess now's the time. It's just that pitching has been so spotty. So I'm hoping that I'm hoping these guys can find something extra in this next series and offense keeps playing like it's been playing and we might have a chance this year of making the World Series knock on wood but I'll play a few games off line I'll play until we get to a um, to a clinching situation and hopefully that'll be us up early but we'll see 
But as always, thanks for watching, subscribing, liking. I hope, you, uh, I hope you're staying with this series. I'd like to see it through to some kind of completion. You know, I would like to at least get to the playoffs or, I mean, get to the World Series or win the World Series before I close the books on this one. But it would be nice if this is the year that we do it. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next episode.